Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll write a program on how to write a code for creating deadlock situation. And this is one of the important interview questions for zero to six years of experience. Write a code for creating <coughs> deadlock situation. So before going into the program, let's write a steps. Uh, let's go through a few steps which are important for writing the code. So first step is write two methods. Take two methods. One is M1 and the other is M2. So this is the first step. And in the second step, in first method, write one synchronized load block on integer object. That means in the second uh, in the second step, take method M1. Inside method M1, write one synchronized load block on integer object. And and inside that synchronized load block, write one more synchronized load block on string object. Okay. So first we are writing a method m1 and inside method m1 write a synchronized block on integer object and inside a synchronized object a block on a string object after writing synchronized block on string object write one more synchronized block okay this is the first step and uh, right now take one more method that is method m2 write one synchronized block on first on string object in the method one we are writing synchronized block on integer object in method two, write synchronized block first on string object. Okay, then on integer object. That means whatever the order we are following in method one, just follow the reverse order in method M2. Okay. So these these is these are the steps for creating deadlock situations. Okay, let's go and write the program. new deadlock demo so first write as I told you write two methods okay public void method one okay now write one more method and name it as m2 okay first name it as method m1 or method one and then second as method two now inside method one write one synchronized block on which object first we need to write as I told you go to the document in first method write one synchronized block on integer object so write integer dot class okay inside this synchronized block just write one system dot out dot print alone I am in mean, synchronized integer block of method m1 okay now write one more synchronized block inside this one more synchronized block inside this And name it as and write one more system dot out dot println inside this block I am in synchronized string block of method m1 now copy this okay copy this complete method okay now I am writing one more method method 2 so in the first method what we did was like first we acquired lock on integer object and second on string object in this method m2 what we will do is we will acquire lock on first on string object and then on integer object this 
just name here having synchronized string block integer block of method m2 method m2 so if you see the program here here we have two methods okay inside method one we have a synchronized two synchronized blocks and inside method two we have two synchronized blocks in method one what we are doing is first we are acquiring lock on integer object and then on string object in method two first we are acquiring lock on string object and then on integer object now assume that we have some 10 threads assume two or more threads are trying to access method m1 and m2 what happens is first method m1 will acquire a lock on integer class and method 2 will acquire on string class so whenever a thread try after acquiring a lock on try to acquire on string class so what happens is method 2 locked that string one so because of that what happens is it creates a deadlock situation that means method 1 will try uh, will for, will try for acquiring a lock on string class method 2 what it will do is it will try to acquire a lock on integer class so what happens is a collision occurs here and creates a deadlock situation so this is the code for uh, writing the deadlock situation hope you guys understand this video thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my